All right, ladies and gentlemen, my first guest starred in the Hangover movies. His latest film, Puss in Boots, opens Friday. Please welcome Zach Galifianakis. <laughs> Under there for the longest time. Didn't you, didn't you hear him film me pinch you during the Reba McIntyre interview? <laughs> what's, for a week. what's wrong with the traditional entrance, pal? I don't like doing that. <laughs> well, yes. so good to see you. Nice to see you too. I'm just gonna try and reassemble this, if you don't mind. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Should I be winded for trying to break balsa wood? <laughs> Oh, that's well. Oh, that's so much less impressive now that you said it. Well, you know, this was pure mahogany. Uh, <laughs> you know, I will say, you look like you could smash through anything. You, I've got to say, you look fit. You yeah. look fit. You look yeah. like you've been. I'm, I'm, real, I'm a real a gym rat. Real gym, gym rat. Yeah, I love you the <laughs> gym rat. If I'm not at Gold's, I'm either at Equinox or jogging on the beach. <laughs> Yeah, you're just constantly going at it. You're yeah. just constantly working. Always out. been fit my whole yeah. life. Uh, real gym rat, gym rat. Mm -hmm. Just keep saying gym yeah. rat. If you say it enough, it it, it it happens. So you think you're a gym rat? Well, sometimes I consider myself a gym rat. <laughs> hey, Isaac. How are you? It's nice you two to get along. Now, uh, you know, well, I've been fine. Oh, good. How about you? <laughs> You were saying? <laughs> <laughs> We've known each other a very long time, and I uh, used to come on my old late night show back in the late 50s, early 60s, and you would uh, had great, always had great jokes. And I was thinking today, do you remember the first joke you ever told? Uh, in, when I was trying to be a stand up comic? Yeah, uh, yeah I, pref I started doing stand up in the back of a hamburger restaurant in uh, Times Square. In, the first joke I ever wrote and performed was, I was with this girl the other night, we were at her house, we had been drinking, and she said, Zach, you can just sleep here, you can sleep on my futon. And I said to her, I don't sleep on anything that rhymes with crouton. <laughs> That's an actual joke you, you, you really get told. Yeah. First joke, how did that, how did that really have a joke, it's more just a sentence. Yeah. <laughs> I was thinking, it's, how did that go over? Oh, it, it bombed. Terribly. Yeah, horribly, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, uh, do you ever, do you ever, have you ever made the crouton joke since? Have you ever gone back to it? I just did. Just did. That was it. <laughs> uh, 12 years fan. I thought maybe you were dining out on that joke. No, that was a great, yeah, no, it's a great icebreaker at parties. Uh, <laughs> I've got great things to say. <laughs> Ask me to stay over and sleep on a futon. <laughs> yeah. That's the only way it works. Uh, <laughs> I will say this about you: You're not a uh, overtly political comic. You, you're very silly. But do you ever have you ever done a lot of humor about politics? No, I, I really don't. I, I, I like politics. I, I'm a little disappointed. I'm a big fan of uh, Sarah Palin, and um, I have been for. Excuse me. I'm a big fan of Parasailin. Right. <laughs> Different. Totally got confused. Yeah, yeah. So you like parasailing? Yeah. Me. You missed the futon joke yeah. now? <laughs> you working on any uh, new characters? You know, a lot of comedians, they, they when their spare time, I know you do a lot of acting now, but you got to work on characters all the time. Any new characters you're working on? The character I've been working on for a while is called the Wrong Gesturing Guy. Wrong um, Gesturing Guy. Yeah, wrong Gesturing Guy. Here yeah. we go. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I was, uh, saw this woman the other night. She, uh, she had breast cancer. <laughs> break. <laughs> we have so much more to talk about, and we're going to get you uh, vacuumed. Yes, let's uh, do that. More with I think it's just body lice. <laughs> <laughs> more with Zach Galifianakis in just a second. Stick around.
Amen. I've spent the entire commercial break, for real, trying to put my desk back together again. I don't know why, but it just intrigues me. It's like, you made a cool puzzle. Ah, uh, thanks, that's what I do. Yeah. <laughs> I'm getting an over-the-head shot of this. I've got it mostly done. I just need this area in here. Well, you got a couple pieces. Yeah, right. let's just, and I don't care how long this takes. Right. I don't care if this destroys the show tonight. I'm going to put this desk back together again. And I promise you, we're going to get it done. <laughs> OCD, OCD, OCD. <laughs> Let's talk about New York. We are, uh, Andy and I, and we're taking the whole show. We're taking this crowd. We're taking everyone with us to go to New York City next week. Oh, nice. And um, and uh, I didn't know that you lived in New York City for a long time. I did move to Nor uh, New York. Uh, shoot. I don't 92, 92. I need the exact date. Uh, October 7th, night. 82. 82? Yeah. Wow, you were just off by... I'll never forget my cousin Dean, right when we drove into New York, he looks at me and he goes, we've just locked ourselves into the world's largest prison. <laughs> <laughs> Is that true? Yeah. Wow. He said that, and he was right. Well, did you... Okay, tell us about uh, your young man uh, back in the day living in New York City. Uh, what kinds of stuff would you would you do? Because you... you know, I didn't have any money, mm -hmm. and I really liked the city. I was from a small town, so I really... I really loved exploring the city, and at night, I would uh, I would walk through the subway tunnels by myself. You would walk through the subway tunnels? Yeah, I didn't have a token. <laughs> no, uh, uh, no, I would just walk through at night. I would walk through. I I probably shouldn't have done it, but yeah, I would. I, that was kind of my pastime. Is I would walk through the subway tunnels. Like what subway tunnels? Which ones? Don't worry about it. No. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Don't worry about it, Conan. Well, um, I'm sorry. Were you? Uh, were it was you, the L train uh, uh, going to uh, Williamsburg yep. from Manhattan. I know that line. Yeah, yep. I used to live in Williamsburg. So, uh, were you drunk at the time? I'm just. It sounds like something you would do when you were a little inebriated. Just walk the subway tunnels at night. No, I just. Let's just say that I was at a stage in my life where people didn't understand me. <laughs> I may have had a few cocktails, maybe like a, you know, a six pack of forties. Right. <laughs> What were you, were you, what did you expect to find in these tunnels? Were you searching for something? Women. Women? <laughs> <laughs> That's just where the best women hang out, yeah, too. Yeah, I was into the whole hobo scene back then. <laughs> <laughs> Looking for some hobo sexual. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Still got it. Uh, yeah. yeah. Not really <laughs> letters from the hobo sexual yeah, know, community. Uh, uh, let's talk about Between Two Ferns. Uh, yep. This is a, a show that you've done. Wildly <laughs> popular. That you've done on the internet. And uh, I, I was uh, honored, and as was Andy, we got to be a guest on Between Two Ferns. And, uh, and it's unlike any other talk show experience in the world. Uh, it's very unusual. It's your take on a talk show. What are you trying to accomplish there with that show? Well, I think it's just a fantasy of like... Uh, you know, the way people actually kind of talk sometimes with a little bit of aggression behind it. A little uh, bit, A yeah. little bit, yeah. So uh, it's just kind of a, uh, an interview. I think, I think a lot of times, like, talk shows in general are, they're, they're kind of weird because the, it's not how people talk to one another. Right. You know, you, gotta, you come out, there's a band playing, there's, you know, there's, a, there's Andy. It's just strange. It's strange. <laughs> And it's, it's, it's bizarre. It's like, um, it's very man-made. And it's, yes. it's, I feel like uh, it would be great to do a talk show where it's just kind of like how people actually talk would be kind of fun. And that's kind of what, 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 what I was doing or what I'm trying to do. Well, what if we tried that just right now? I mean, I know we have an audience here and cameras and all of the, uh, the stuff that you think is so inorganic. And it, it is. But what if we tried your style right now? Yeah, just, just, uh, just, okay. Why don't we try it? And you, yeah, well, why we don't you... Off to a bad start already. Right right. There, ruined it. You know, <laughs> the yay and the woo. You okay. know, now, well, now, is that how it happens in a real conversation? Right. Um, Dad, okay. I might be gay. <laughs> woo. Uh, okay, you ready? Yeah, you you lead this because I have not practiced in. in okay, this kind so of this talk is just uh, basically we'll just call this small talk talk show. Okay, and you'll you'll be the host. I guess. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Hi, welcome. Hello. <laughs> welcome to Small Talk Talk Show with Zach Galifianakis and. 
Andy Richter. What's your name? Conan. 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 Um, so anyway, uh, thanks for being on the, sh uh, the show. Thanks for having me. It's really nice here. I like it. It's, uh, it's good to be on the show. <sighs> Pretty cool weather we've been having. It's cooler than usual yeah. this time of yeah, year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I noticed that the other day. The, the temperature dropped a couple of yeah. <sighs> you have a bathroom? Yeah. Where's we the bathroom? Bathroom uh, is in the back. It's over near. Uh, it's by, by between Andy's dressing room and my dressing room. Okay, cool. Take care, man. <laughs> is that it? I think in real life a guy would say "excuse me" or right, something. Right. <laughs> That's yeah. Zach. That is Zach Galifianakis, ladies and gentlemen. We'll take a break. Aaron Paul from Breaking Bad. <laughs>